Greetings, I am Cross Knight, and this is Let's Play Mid-Evil. On the last episode, I beat the crap out of a weird glass golem guy. And that's more or less that. I've got a choice now, however. I can either go... Let's see. I can go here. Or I can go here. I don't... Something annoying is going to happen that other path, so I'm going this way. Do the scarecrow fields. Ain't no crows gonna come on here. <laughs> Parkour! <laughs> Alright, well. Those are some effective scarecrows that are actually alive. You know what I didn't really realize, though? The only reason Sir Daniel Fortescue was back is because the sorcerer went and raised the dead to have a zombie army. <laughs> and he inadvertently raised me, too. It's kind of funny. He maybe should have been a little bit more specific about that. But maybe he didn't really see me as a threat. Because, you know, I didn't actually successfully defeat him. Holy crap, that was rough. There's definitely souls trapped inside of those scarecrows, too. Also a little bit creepy. The scarecrows are almost unstoppable, so don't be a hero. Try tapping them while you make your escape. Tra trapping them? Tapping them. <laughs> tap, tap. Drop your resources, dearie. Eh? Let's see. Oh my god, a crow. The crow's been defeated. I like, there's been more and more games where I have been defeating crows. I definitely like it. Um, so that's not doing any damage. I mean, the book specifically said not to do what I'm doing. Though I clearly do need to kill them. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe I'll get a better weapon later. But I can't shoot them. They seem to be immune to range. Eh. <laughs> no. Do I push it? No. Uh. Okay. Not quite sure what you want me to do. Then can I just jump over it? No. So I can't smash it. Hmm. Sword. Ah, all right. I just needed to hit it from that side for some reason. Otherwise, did not work. All right. Well, block that off. Let's see. Beware the mischief makers in metal machines. Who knows what dark sorceries bring their metal limbs to life? It would be good to see the back of such menaces. Alright, so I think I need to hit whatever they're talking about from behind. Uh, oh god. I think I prefer the sword here to the hammer. Well, I can't do anything about him. Ah, oh, this is a problem. Uh, to the back. Aha! I see you, you little imp. No, aim for the imp. All right. Well. Oh, okay. I can't aim for the imp. I did just shoot that guy's head off, though. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's like, how can he see? He doesn't have a head. And then I realize he doesn't need the head to see. He was never using it to see. Rapid fire. All right. And he's gone. He left a rune in his wake. However, not the right rune. How dare you? What? You. Oh, God. From behind. All right. I was ready. I temporarily stopped time getting ready. A little bit of gold. Now, I seem to remember... Let me see something. Okay, it's lit us on fire. I think the flaming clubs do do more damage. No. Oh, goblin? Goblin? I would like to resupply my crossbow bolts. Because the crossbow is a pretty great weapon at this point in the game. Alright, the clubs only stay on fire for a little bit. There we go, I knew it! I had a memory that you could burn these things. Because these are spawn points. I think you can make it so that they don't spawn guys anymore. Not. 
Or am I wrong? Did that do nothing? Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just remembered that it, like, had the effect and I thought that was cool. But, eh. It doesn't look like it's actually gonna do anything. Unless you have to hold it. Nah, I don't think that's doing anything. Whatever. Cool little effect at the very least. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, no. It's, um... There was a rune spot, though, right? It's in this house. Like right at the beginning. Yeah, right here. Okay. Alright, annoying. Uh, got another club. <laughs> I've been renewed. Not that I really need it. The thing is, if you don't get all the chalices, you might not have the hammer by this point, so... They have certain things where it's necessary to either have the hammer or a club, so they gave me another club. Got hit anyway. Thought I could just run under there. It's mini golf, but you're the ball. Alright, enough of that. Cut out most of that healing session. Shinobi, why do you do this to me? Stop being a jingle dog. Come here. Come here, jingle dog. Come here. Always being a jingle dog, that kid. Here. There. Oh my god, get away. Slice, slice, slice. Definitely easier to hit those crows with uh, swords, methinks. Hmm. I, yeah, I think that's what I'm supposed to do. They're very deadly when they're spinning at you, but they kind of tucker themselves out. And then... The welling begins. Alright, so now I know. I mean, I was essentially told and ignored it, but now I'm gonna practice what I've learned. Uh, nope. Get away. Get away, Kuro. Alright, well this one's shooting fire. It's gonna be significantly harder to beat than the guy that just walked at me and then did nothing. But not that much harder. Surprise! Oh, he's shooting behind me now. Easy peasy. Alright, <laughs> easy to find that room. It's right where I needed it to be. Rah, 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 rah. Have at you. Alright, Kloon Katlura, the Serpent Lord, yearns to fight alongside you, but has been captured by Zarak and sealed within a chest. Free this mighty spirit and earn a powerful ally. Cool. Uh, hello. Oh my god, alright. Don't go into the field. The field is apparently filled with horrible death. Gross. How are you still spinning? Should have spun him off earlier than that, right? Alright. What do you have to say? These fields are home to many mad machines, yet the most bizarre of them are housed within this barn. That makes me curious. Yeah. No, no. Are you him? The Serpent King? Yep, there we go. He fights for me. Supposedly. Yep, he just killed that scarecrow. <laughs> Is the Serpent King gone? Or no, he's still here. There we are. Now that's power. Back, 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 back. There. Where's more scarecrows? I want to hunt scarecrows. I'm pretty sure the Serpent King doesn't last forever, so... Uh, oh god. You know what? Chalice time? Yeah, chalice time. I don't need to worry about killing anything else. I've met my quota. In we go. Alright, what's this all about? Um. And see, the corn cutting machine is missing a part. The cog fell off in this miracle of modern agriculture. Hasn't worked since. 
I am, I can't believe how little of this game that I remembered. Like, the part that I practiced back when I said I was going to play this game, which was so long ago. It was around the time I played, um... Hey, you came with me, dragon. Or serpent. Um, what was it? Kagero, deception. Come here. You're not knocking me off again, so you can die. Whatever. Fine, stay up there then. Hit the switch. So that's bringing this down, but I need a cog apparently. Of course it wasn't going to be in here. Uh, you notice I said I got a copper shield, but I'm using the silver shield. Uh, the copper... Oh my god, there, finally. The copper shield is in my inventory, so I could switch to it if I wanted to. Like maybe if I wanted to save the silver shield for a more powerful confrontation, or once the silver shield got defeated, I could then switch to the copper shield. That's what that's about. It doesn't just disappear. And that wasn't obviously apparent to me the first time, so... thought I would state that. Uh... Alright, I'm, I'm assuming that I can't get to certain places without, uh, implementing the... that machinery. So I'm just gonna go forward and see if I can get back later. There we go, my shield just got banged up. I decided to block the windmill instead of being clever and trying to dodge it. Oh my. Um, if I'm in these holes, I'll be fine, right? Yes. No. I just got crushed. Um... <laughs> So this is my last life bar. If I get, if I lose it, or you know, if I felt in any instant death pets or just take enough damage, ah, oh, never mind. Huh. Nothing like taking a break from action to stop for like 15 seconds. Oh god, what is happening here? Uh. Yeah, wasn't able to block that. Oh my. Oh dear, there's not a duck button, is there? You can defend kind of ducks. Oh, these won't hit me if I'm down here, alright. Oh, and there's one missing, so that's how I time that. Cool. Man, I'm gonna have to go all the way back there once I find out where that cog is, aren't I? Daring dash. Daring dash. Oh no, that's the exit. Alright, we don't want any of that yet. And there we go, the harvest part. That's what I needed. <laughs> I was able to daring dash around there without any damage. That's surprising. Uh, Alright, this should be easier. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I do indeed have to go back through all these horrors, though, just to get to my thing. And I don't know if I've killed enough guys to get the, uh... To get my chalice thing up. Oh, God. There. I oh, jumped over it. Whee! Oh, dear. Nope. <laughs> shield just broke. Alright, so we're gonna switch to... Silver shield. Rah! <laughs> Shell silver shield. Nope, 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 nope. Neep, 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 neep. Gonna weather it. All right, 100. All right, it must have already been at 100 because it didn't tell me that I could get the thing, and it usually does. Ah, you sir, a toast, warm buttery toast, cooked to perfection. <laughs> doom, 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 and. Now let's stand over here. Harvest part! Okay, that is not conventional, but I like it. Very Burton-esque. So I just, uh, carved this path. And there's a life bottle here. I like that even more than the chalice, let me tell you. Um, these please. <laughs> They're my best hope for ranged at this point. So now I think I just need to make my way 
back through the wheat field. And it's just gonna... I've already read this, right? No, death walls. Death waits in the cornfield. Pick your route carefully and do not linger in the corn. What kills me there exactly? I don't think they ever tell you. Just have to leave it up to the imagination. And I never... I don't think I ever went... I don't think I ever went this way. Warrants a gander, doesn't it? Oh, okay. Well, I definitely haven't been that way. I don't know if it warranted a gander, though. Bam. Alright. Charge! And then be slow and careful. Because you're responsible. Then charge! Eh. Bye, buddy. You ain't my concern no more. Here. Oh, but then you just had to keep on... You had to keep on screwing with me. Then you got tons of knives in the front. I'm not a backstabber, but I've known to front stab. Alright. Eh. No. No. Ow. Oh my god, I'm not hitting jump, I'm hitting throw. That's what's happening. <laughs> just throwing knives for no reason. Woo! Perfect. Woo! Alright, let me... I don't like daffing, dashing with throwing knives. It makes more sense. There we go. Holding my sword up high. Woo! And... Weep. Yeah! Wah-ha! Uh, power through. Power through. Alright, didn't take that much shield damage. We did it! We're through the Scarecrow Field of Doom. Pumpkin Gorge, dead ahead. Nursery <laughs> to Galomir's favorite side dish. Step inside and understand the true horror of fruit gone bad. Pumpkin Gorge! <laughs> I don't know about the voice acting in this game. It's not very strong. It is not the worst. It's just not very strong. Well, that's another thing that we've just gotten used to in modern games, because it has been... 19 years since this came out, and I still can't freaking believe that. It's crazy. Like, the games I played as a child... Well, the games I played as a child are, like, super ancient history, but the games I played as a teenager, even... Pretty much ancient history. You, sir, are new. Fortis, you, you jawless arrow magnet. What are you doing back here? <laughs> what? Call me Mr. Woden the Mighty. How I pity the people of Galomere that their fate should once again be in the hands of a chump like you. Still, I suppose it's not fair to take it out on them. Take my sword and do try not to stab yourself in the foot. You know, I've always had my doubts about you, Fortescue. You're just not carved from hero material. <laughs> yeah, I don't need your sword. Oh, do I have to go through this again because I said that? Fortescue. Yeah, no, never mind. <laughs> it's just that one guy had a special thing for if I don't accept it, so that's weird. I guess he was, like, one of the only ones. So I just got the broadsword. Now, the broadsword is not really more powerful than your regular sword, unless you do a special thing to it, in which case it is significantly more powerful and will be a staple weapon through most of the game. So... I'm glad I got it. Even though the guy that owned it previously was a dick. I'll show you. Alright, the path is cleared. Yep. Alright, we got Pumpkin Gorge. And it looks like I can also go to... The Sleeping Village. Hmm. You know, let's just keep this pumpkin-y. I kind of want to go to the Sleeping Village instead, but since these two stages match up and I'm probably only doing these two stages this episode, makes sense, right? Pumpkin Gorge. Alright. So we definitely got a bunch of little pumpkins here. 
Um, this is sort of a secret, like, if you just don't notice it. Actually, you might need to go here if I just got that rune. There. There's a large amount of rude pumpkins here. And a bunch of rude vines. Well, you can just kind of hit them a little bit. They'll fall in line. Alright, so now we go to services and enchant sword. Costs a hundred. Now, the most annoying part is that the enhancement will count down as long as you have the sword equipped. So you just can't run around with it. I much would have rather that it counted down when you actually attacked with it. But, you know, why make my life easy? Eh. But it does significantly more damage than the sword. I'll try to show that off if I can. Got a club a little bit ago. Of course, I have my hammer, too, so... Alright, so these guys. Let's see if I can show you. This is the regular sword. Now, there's gonna be a lot of pumpkins. I just want to do a comparison. So you saw how long it took to kill them. Alright, these guys are just explodey pumpkins. Don't want to deal with that right now. Alright, so now we got these guys. Enchanted sword. Two hits. <laughs> like, it's crazy. But you have to pay money for it, so... It's not, uh... It, that's, it's balanced by the fact that it's that strong by that. Alright, like, you will be in situations where the sword will not be charged up. Uh... There. <laughs> Trying to keep me out, huh? Alright, bunch of money and a vial. That's all that was in there, but, you know, worth it. What am I doing? There we go! That's the sword I want. Boom. Yeah. Ah. Pff. I just wasted a lot of enhancement by running around there, but... It gets annoying to, like, constantly equip and re-equip the thing. Or de-equip? Is that a word? Hurrah! <laughs> so this one, if you just run in a circle, it'll eventually rise. Now, I remember trying to get it to the absolute tippy-top, because I was like, maybe when it gets to the top, a thing will happen. Nope. <laughs> just let it go high enough to actually get up here, and that's all you gotta do. Here. I wonder, it's like, how many people would actually use my video as a, as a tutorial for anything? How many people are going to play this? Actually, someone on my Twitter uh, mentioned that they, they attempted this game because it was in the the PlayStation Play Store or something like that, so maybe there actually are people who play this in the modern era. And I kept on seeing something called, like, um, Medieval Resurrected, which I think was a remastered version of this game, so that's probably the one they were talking about. But I don't know if they actually changed or anything. That was weird. I actually just stopped the recording because I heard this, like, ticking noise, but it's part of the music. It's like, where- like, listen. Like, it's like- like, I thought I, it did not sound like it was supposed to be coming from the game. <laughs> I was like, what? Is, is there a bug? <laughs> is this a bug ticking or something? I don't know. Oh, it's disturbing. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, weird. Okay, let's see. I seem to... I think I actually had to go back. Because I beat the game and I was like, maybe I should practice where all the... Uh, the, the uh, chalices are, and I came back to get this one, like, recently, like two days ago, before I started recording anything. And I don't remember quite how to get it. I just remember that I definitely missed the damn thing. So, good chance I'm gonna miss it this time. But I'd like to get it now. I don't think there's anything that I need. I think it's something that I can acquire. Uh, can I flip the camera, please? This is ridiculous. Alright, so I'm back where I started. I thought so. It's very hard to tell. Then I do indeed just need to go this way for now. There. Uh, that, that book says something about rising mushrooms or something. But yeah, you use these as platforms. That water is, of course, death. And it is very easy to fall off these mushrooms if you're not careful. As I mentioned, I think in the first episode, I don't know if I... Uh, uh, platforming is the hardest part in this game, and it's not because it's, you know, like, super meat or hard. It's, it's hard because the controls aren't perfect. Which is not how you want something to be hard, but, you know. Also, I remember I posted on Twitter, uh, you know, which is 
think it's just Twitter slash Cross Knights. Um, is that how the URLs work? Are they like are they like YouTube? Um, that this game was way harder than I remember. It's actually, I said that right after doing this one specific level that is harder than the rest of the entire game uh, by a gigantic margin. So, and it's all because of platforming. That's the only reason it's hard. There's just tons of death drops, and you're forced to jump over a bunch of the death drops. Urgh. So, oh no, I don't have the star rune. Well, where in hell could that possibly be? Well, pff. I was trying to be thorough and not miss anything. I missed something necessary for proceeding. Yeah, right, well, let's look around here. Get a little ganda. Might as well read it, I guess. Yep. Mushrooms go up. Don't fall in. Wait, I got a thing, though, didn't I? I did. That I didn't have before. Yes, I didn't have that before. So there was a purpose to going over there. Here. Daring dash. Oof. My poor shield. Stupid sentient pumpkins. Oh wow, energy vials don't give a full uh, bottle. I didn't realize that. There we are. Good. I needed that. Ah, a boulder. Oh. Well, isn't that nice? Oh, I can't go back up though. Not as nice as I thought then. <laughs> so now I need to go all the way back. Oh wait, I don't though. I don't need to jump across all the mushrooms because going this way opened up a shortcut because I knew I was going to have to backtrack. So that was nice of the developers. Oh god. Alright, we're going in full enhanced sword here. Um, that thing, each time I hit one of the vines, it will lower. Yeah. And then eventually I'll be able to get this rune. Alright, at this point, we don't like that anymore. I killed all the more uh, aggressive adversaries. Or I didn't. There's more of them. Life bottle used. Now! Rah! I only did like one hit. Maybe I should be using this. Yeah, no, that's better. What if I did... This! That's the best. This is working too, though. Is that low enough? It was indeed. <laughs> Alright, instant unlocked. Both sides unlocked? Yeah. Oh my. Got active boulder falling action. Boulders for the smash of one. Enhance it! <laughs> Massacred. Uh, Alright, I'm just wasting all my sword. Now, there we go. I was like, I knew there was going to be more guys. I don't want to put my sword away. Constant sheafing and unsheafing with this thing. Alright, where am I? Ah, I just walked in a big circle, so now I just need to figure out if I missed anything. Was there an offshoot here? Oh god, I'm so much more comfortable with this game. This I'm so glad I didn't do this blind. I would have hated it. Like, I'm having a lot more fun with this game than I did the first time around. Alright, so I need to remember where the stupid uh, chalice is. Let me just talk to him first. Bow down before the master of the vegetable patch. The prize-winning plant who can summon an army of cabbage with a wave of his noble tendril. He's delicious. He's nutritious. He's Zarok's secret recipe. He's the Pumpkin King. It's like the voice acting isn't bad for that guy, but don't you wish he was like a little bit more enthusiastic? I don't know. And the one for, for Zarok himself is pretty lackluster. He's just like, Oh, I'm Zarok. Hey, I've uh, come back. I'm going to, you know, 
Goes a little bit mischief for you, so you, maybe you don't want to go step daddy. <laughs> it's like, what, what are you... Alright, he obviously sounds nothing like that, but still, I... I oh no. Damn. It's just, you know, it's not, it's not how I want my evil uh, wizard to sound. Hashtag, not my evil wizard. Uh, Alright, we're not trying that again. That jump is way harder to make from this angle, because you kind of have to blind to jump. Also, if I die here, I will have to do the entire stage over. So that's fun. I had to blind jump there, too, pretty much. There. Uh. Ugh. This, this, this is like, was like not designed to walk backwards in. It's, it's kind of hard. Uh. Okay. Now, where could that chalice be? So I'm run, I've run all the way back to the beginning. I, I think I know where it is, I just don't remember how to get to it. So... Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is... I don't think I even walked down this corridor initially coming here because I went into that cave. Wait, it's in the cave, isn't it? There's something about this cave. Yes, this is why they gave me this. It's because it's right here. Very easy to miss. You just have to see that there's a, a slightly discolored uh, space. So yes, in case that was disorienting because I made the edit, um, it's at the beginning, the, the beginning cave that I walked into. That's where you gotta go. So now I just need to get to the end without dying. Oh my god. Go away with you. Away with you! Ah. That was nice to get. Alright. To the end, don't need to show it. The path I'm going, you already know it. Yeah, club a dash. Club a dash. Alright, to victory! And to the Hall of Heroes. Yeah, boy! And I'm here. Oh, he's talking again. Gaining allies in the Hall of the Heroes is the way forward. Hack, choppity chop, off with a few zombies' heads, and it thinks it can redeem itself in battle. You still have a long way to go to rank as the best. Hey, I killed a lot of zombies, first of all. There's also mutants, scarecrows, and pumpkins in the mix. So, give me full credit, please. Also, I never talked about being too big for my britches. You're making assumptions. Oh, great, I have to talk to this dube again. Yeah. Gotta look cooler. By God, Fortescue! You must be the luckiest corpse ever to walk the face of the earth! I have something here I can lend to you. Take it or leave it. But remember, I'm only doing this for the sake of Galomir's doomed population. And not for you, you... Gangly buffoon! It's not my fault that I got shot with an arrow. <laughs> I mean, I'm clearly capable. Haven't you seen my skills from your... your Hall of Heroes television monitors or however the hell you observe the world? Maybe they're not... I mean, maybe he has... Hmm. I'm just realizing they might not actually observe the world at all. That'd be kind of sad. Though maybe it's more sad if you had to watch for eternity the world changing without you being able to do anything about it. I don't know. I'm not a creepy ghost hero. Yet. So next episode, I save my progress. <laughs> next episode, um, we're going to fight, you know, a giant nutritious plant, apparently. But that will be then. This is now, and I am Cross Knights. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to my patrons for supporting me in my quest to save the world from a wizard that has previously killed me. These are just the things I have to deal with in my life. Wouldn't have it any other way, though. I'll see you next time.